what we have is essentially a panel of rock stars. Each of them are gurus in their specific fields. And while this is not going to be me kind of talking at you guys for 40 minutes or so, describing the franchise search process, what I, I hope you're going to walk away with is something that's even more valuable. So if you are seriously considering franchise ownership as the next step in your career, um, what you'll walk away with is a very granular idea of what does a search process look like. The way we're going to do it, I will kick it off with our first panelist, uh, Mr. Devin Mann, and he is now a franchise owner of a brand called Dryer Vent Wizard. And so Devin, from his perspective, will really give us a sense of what he did before he became a franchise owner. And I'm guessing for most of you on the call, you guys are really going to relate to him because he is a veteran, much like you guys are. From Devin, we're then going to move on to Ms. Lavonna Williams. And Lavonna is the Director of Franchise Development for Dryer Vent Wizard. Um, I have known this lady now, Lavonna, what, a couple of years. Um, our, our, you know, we kind of go a little ways back, and I think there's a melding of the minds. Um, she is one of the most amazing franchise professionals I have met. We have placed numerous clients into Dryer Vent. And interestingly enough, for our, for our conversation today, every one of those clients, including Devin, who you're going to talk to, every single one of them has been a veteran. And Mona is the president of a company called Creative Funding by Design. Um, she also happens to be my funding strategist. And in, in, in very simple English, Mona is Mrs. Moneybags. If you need money, she knows where it is. So you stay very, very close to her, okay? She's that important in this process. So with that, let me kind of kick it off and I will start with you, Mr. Devin Mann. I'm from the Army National Guard. Um, I, so that meant I pretty much, as many of you know, had a full-time job, had a full-time life, did the, you know, military thing here and there. Um, and I was successful with it. I grew, you know, through numerous construction companies, got good education, um, got deployed, uh, overseas to a non-combat zone, but got injured, um, pretty bad. So I'd have numerous surgeries. Um, and ultimately I ended up at the, um, Warrior Transition Battalion or Warrior Transition Unit. And I, my whole life, I always knew that I wanted to run a company. I wanted to own a company, but I never knew how. I have no business background. Nobody in my family does. Not a wealthy family. So like, how do you start a business when you don't have the idea and you don't have the money? I just, I knew I wanted it, but I never knew how I would get there. Um, like I said, I Great success on any job I had, but I never wanted to always work for somebody. I always had that idea that I wanted to work myself. Officer in the military, many may know you're in charge of people. Um, and I enjoyed that. I love that. So in the Warrior Transition Unit, they told me I had to sit through a seminar on franchising. I didn't get what it was, and I said I want to go. And they told me, you're in the Army, you're going to do what we say. So I did. And that's when I met Fazoon. Uh, didn't want to at first. But then as she started speaking, I realized this was the answer. And at the end of that seminar, I met her. I said, now's not the right time, but you're the answer I'm looking for. You're the answer I didn't know I was looking for. Um, I'm going to stay in touch with you when the time is right. I had time between my surgeries. So I, I read her book and I read articles and I started looking into it. And every time I spoke to her, I realized this is the answer I'm looking for, you know, in military, we're great at following instructions. We're great at following procedures and policies that are set. Um, I knew I'm not like the guy that's going to think, think it's a great idea, like Amazon or Tesla. That's not me. But I can take something that's there and make it better and work within the means and you know make things more efficient. And I realized that's the concept of a franchise that I love. It's not that I'm creating something from the new. I have a say in what I do. I have a say in how I do it, but I have a guideline that's been set, it's been proven. And that was important to me. While I, I think to you know, myself as a risk taker, a calculator risk taker, you know, I can't throw, I have a family, like many of you have, like I have a wife, I have a child, like I have to support that. And I, to throw everything at a hope and a dream, it, it wasn't for me, but to look at something that's been proven 
time and time again in different areas of the country, different people, to show that it's not the person, it's the model. And that's what I realized is the differentiator for a franchise versus somebody that's creating a business. When you don't have that nest egg of family supporting you if it fails, it's you that, you know, I wanted something that was tried, true, and proven. Um, so that's when I realized the franchise is the thing. Um, and the more, you know, Fazu and I talk, she would send me periodic couple companies that made sense for what I was after. You know, I set the guidelines of what I wanted. I didn't want food. I didn't want a, a store. I wanted something home service based, a need based, nothing that's fancy. I mean, driving, was it the clean driving, lint out of drives. It, it's not glamorous. It's a necessity. It's proven revenue. It's good revenue company that's what i want is something stable am i going to be a multi-millionaire from it no that's not what i want you know i want to support my family i want to be independent and i want to make sure that we have consistent revenue that i'm not scraping to figure out something because it's not like this is going to go away it's not a fad it's not something that is you know when the recession hit it shut everything down um it's something that's always going to be there and it's you know a need that People don't realize they need, and that was what I was after with this. Um, so, you know, meeting Lavana, meeting the team with Driving Wizard, I realized that that's what they had that I wanted. Come from the construction industry, I understood it already a little bit. Um, still learn an immense amount from it, but I realized this this is where it's at. This is, you know, don't need an immense amount of equipment to start. You know, you need a van essentially. Um, you can start with yourself or, or with employees. I'm going the route of hiring employees to start working, um, but that's the route I chose to go. Um, and looking at it from the perspective I had, being a disabled veteran, we have a little bit of cushion, so to speak, of disability pay coming in. You know, my wife works, I, I, pull, you know, I use that, so we don't necessarily depend our life on every, this every day, like most new business owners. Or if it doesn't fail, they have to make bad decisions, you know. And the great thing about a franchise is if you don't know, you, don't, you have issues, there's a team of people that have done it before you. There's a team of a support network behind you. You're, you're not building a website from scratch. That's already there. You're partnering with the people that they've already partnered with, that they've already set these guidelines in place. That you just have to stick within their parameters, but then you can still decide how you run your business, what clientele you deal with, how you market it. And so, you know, like I said, proven success and proven team behind them. Um, that was one of the reasons I started with Drive Rent Wizard. Another reason is the new parent company it has a great network. And Lavana might explain a little more. A great network and partners with many companies that you guys probably have all seen in your areas that you don't even realize that are sister companies now. And that kind of network behind them shows that it's not a company that's going to go away anytime soon. When your parent company is a multi-billion dollar company, they're here to stay. Um, so that's also a secondary reason why I want to part with them. I just started going through the pros and the cons. I started listing out what are the financial uh, impacts that I have to, how much money do I have to have? How much money do I have to put up front? You know, how, where can I get that kind of money from? What's, you know, the equipment going to look like? What's the, the storage that I'm going to need? Am I going to need a bunch of trailers? Am I going to need storage facilities? All those things are what I, I went into. But the, the key factor was, was what kind of competitors are there? You know, some of the other companies had a lot of competitors. This one did not. Well, you know, one of the first conversations we had and what I share as a franchise developer with Drivent was there is my role is to kind of take, we can't take uh, the clients through uh, a process of the mutual evaluation and to de determine if Drivent Wizard is a good fit or not. Um, so I make sure that I use all my experience of being with Drivent Wizard, been there for 10 years um, to share all of that information, kind of a tour guide to help clients through that process, to learn that process, to learn about the proven systems, the financials, the technology, the marketing, and the support we provide. Um, and one of my roles is to, to listen and, and talk to the clients and hear what they're looking for, to make sure I'm helping them have a nice fit as well, as, as you do when you help them identify um, business opportunities. So what I noticed about Devin that I sometimes when I've talked to candidates that I know are, that they may be a good fit, sometimes I get chilled 
Um, and so some of the key things, I got chills <laughs> talking to him, um, was his, he was a communicator. He, he had this sense of passion about his family, about helping people. Um, and those are kind of the key thing, key characteristics that we look for in franchise owners because Drive and Wizard, it is a business. We do clean, repair, reroute, install, maintain the dryer venting system. But we also save lives one dryer at a time. We are, we take it on our part because this is an industry that people aren't aware of. So we either have two types of people, the people that have a problem and need our service and the people that are not aware of the fire hazards and that dryer fires are one of the number one reasons for household fires. So we look for people that are passionate about helping people have a sense of community um, and, and ability to be able to follow systems. Um, but with Devin in particular, I, I felt that passion of, of, of wanting to help people. And even more importantly, with the industry that we're in, we're kind of the industry that you never heard of, right? Um, we do have low competition, like Devin mentioned, um, but we are looking for, for owners that um, want to continue to create that imprint in this industry. We are the leading experts in dryer vent cleaning. I always tell people, go and see who our competitors are. They're very, very low. Um, and, and Devin always gave me the sense of he wants to break those ceilings. He said he's not going to be a multi-million um, dollar business, but I see it because um, I see that with dryer vent wizard owners all the time. So those are the key things with the relationship builder. Um, that is a key because we build relationships with the fire departments within the community, um, going to home shows and just educating people about the, the uh, fire hazards and the energy savings and the importance of having that regular maintenance on their dryer venting system. So you have to have someone that, that has that sense of community. Um, um, Mona, if you would kind of give us a sense, if you will, of what do you do in your company? What is your role? with the client as you guide them from start to finish. I've been in the lending space for 30 years. You know, Faizun sends clients to me uh, to help me figure out their best funding strategy. I think the biggest challenge that a lot of people don't realize is I hear things like, can I really afford to buy a business? And it's all working with the strategist to break down, you know, the kind of business they're buying. It, it, various things are they leaving their job keeping their job looking at single units multiple territories so it's really getting to understand the client and their assets and liabilities to figure out is what funding options better so my role is to get to know somebody and talk about those different options that make sense for them of you know how much money do i spend you know do i do it through home equity do i do i pay cash do I keep that cash in reserve? So I give them the easement of letting them know that they can't afford this business, but I don't want to put them in, you know, the poor house either. I want to make sure that they have enough money to live on, survive, take care of their family, and how to have that stress of having either debt over their head and being able to run their business without worrying about a payment. Um, and, and it's not... Funding's not that difficult if somebody takes the time to understand those clients' needs. And that's what I do. So there's a misconception out there that if somebody doesn't have income, they can't get a loan. That is not true. That is absolutely positively not true because I have to dig into other assets of how to make that work. The last thing I want to do is degrade somebody that's been through a challenge in their life because their credit was destroyed for whatever reason. My job is to help them rise above that and figure out how to repair that damage that they did so they can move on to buy something. So I do have passion there. And I love the fact that somebody's out there trying to better their life, but they need help to figure out how to do it. It may take a year to fix the damage, but if they're passionate about owning something, they're going to be disciplined to do that. And I'm willing to help them through that to make sure that they can better their life.